Welcome back to the adventures of Julius Nepos, Biggest Dickus, the highest rank in Rome, all that great stuff, who now has himself an immortal Magister Officiorium horse, Glitterhoof. Who, apparently, I'm an idiot last episode, or well, most episodes, but especially last episode, and I didn't realise that we could just assign him as a guardian to our ward. Um, as you might remember, I typed in Glitterhoof into the search feature and he did not appear, but this is CK2. The search feature is there just to look nice, it doesn't actually do anything, so, or, or at least that's what I'm fucking convinced at this stage. So there we go, our sons are now being educated by, uh, delicious, delicious Glitterhoof. Now, we're gonna set Prince Sempronius to Heritage. That, in theory, should have him assimilate horse culture. How are we ourselves, Julius Nepos, uh, the highest rank in Rome, gonna become a horseman? What well, is very straightforward. All you have to do is, um, <laughs> it's not straightforward at all. What we have to do is have Sempronius educated by an immortal horse. That's the first step. We have his culture flip from Roman to horse. We then grant him some land, which he will then convert to horse culture if his diplomacy and if his stewardship are high enough. At which point we then revoke that title from him, set it as our capital, and then convert from our culture of Roman to our new capital's culture, which will be horse. And that's how we are going to become horse. Any questions? Um, I have a question, sir. What will happen to the Roman Empire if we do that? I'm not entirely sure. Apparently, we'll lose our legions, which is understandable. But we would also gain the ability to be a horse. So I think it's pretty much a win-win. What's next? Well, unfortunately, this episode is going to be a lot of stopping and starting because we recently grabbed the entire kingdom of the Orient from false biggest dickus, falsus maximus uh, imposterous house. So now what I have to do is sit here basically and revoke every single Christian title, every non-Hellenic title within, um, you know, within the Asia aspect of the Byzantine Empire, within the Middle East and within Jerusalem and within the Kingdom of the Orients there. So that could take some time. Now I've already revoked a couple of uh, Duchy level titles. They're already maybe starting to say uh, maybe, funnily enough. So we get into the stage now where I can't just go around revoking all of them without potentially pissing them all off. I'm going to have to take this very, very carefully. I'm going to have to dish it out as I go. So what we'll do, we'll pause here. And we'll pick it up after I've tidied up the round. Because it's literally just going to be me going like this. For probably about 20 minutes. Uh, let's find somebody I'm not already voking. I'm going to say, oh, this dude says yes. And we go to this lady. I'm going to say, well, this lady says yes. And then I'm going to be doing that over and over and over. So uh, I'll see you in a minute. Alright, that's step one. Let's see if we get any rebellions with this. And I imagine we probably are going to, aren't we? Oh, shit. Okay, um... Succession by Gavelkind. Wow, uh, that's quite a large angry faction, eh? Uh, don't like that. Why do you guys not like me? Because I'm over my domain limit by so much, I'm assuming. Um, I mean, how duchies, tyrant minus 40... Uh, air educate with foreign culture. They don't like the fact that I'm potentially converting the empire into a horse empire. I'm going to say I have no choice. Because you know what? Fuck them. Guess what, bitches? We're immortal. So who cares if they're succession by Gavacom? We'll have bigger things to worry about. Oh, and it's also in a kingdom I don't really care about. Um, so we could just kill off a creature. Holy shit. That's actually a son. Did I name him that? Because that seems like something I might make give him a name. Uh, Prince Cret... Cosius of the Western Roman Empire. We could just kill him off. And that would be that solved. Oh shit, no one actually rebelled. I was expecting the king level title to rebel at least. Well, that worked out pretty well. Um, is that everybody? Nope, we've still got more. Hang on. Let's just wait for all of these to come through. And then we can, while it's paused, go ahead and revoke the rest of them as well. Then we can tidy it all up and give it all out in one fell swoop. And problem solved. Right, let's find ourselves a lovely Roman man to give all this stuff to. Uh, Stewardship 22, his name is Julian Maximus. That's almost the greatest name I've ever heard. Okay, here you go, friend. Grant landed title, I'm just going to give him the entire kingdom and he can sort it out by himself. Basically, the game will just spawn in extra vassals for the lands that he can't hold, so I don't really mind too much. Here you go. You may have Oriens, and he will become our most loyal vassal that we've ever had, increasing his opinion of you by 1640 there. Thank you. Boom. Why did he make his capital uh, Limassol rather than Jerusalem? Great question. Um, you do you, pal. You do you. Right, what else have we picked up here that we definitely don't want? Well, we can get rid of that for a start. Um, we've also got... Gal okay, yeah, Constantinople's fine. We've got Kaiseria, which should be under this province here. Maybe we could actually send some troops up there to go tidy up the edges of the empire now. Um, my son, Sextus Biggest Dickus, died of the Great Pox. That's what'll happen when you do too much Sextus with your Biggest Dickus, son. Great Pox is not syphilis, though, is it? Uh, yes, it is. 
The venereal plague lighter than syphilis. It's okay, we're fine. <sighs> Don't have to edit that out. Although I... <laughs> YouTube might disagree. The county of Pictavium have converted to the Hellenic faith. Thank you. We need a new Frumentari. I need to just send out gifts to everyone, don't I? Because they're all really not a fan of me right now. Revoke Vassal Tarts, minus 600. Oh, shit. Did I revoke Hellenic Vassal Tarts, or was he Christian? Um, no, I think he's just a Christian man. Yeah, he is. Uh, the Twister of who, sorry? What are you twisting? Are you twisting my biggest... No, can't say that. Let's fire him. Let's sack him. Like, I actually do want to be monetized at some point, though. Uh, Despot Viltianus the Just. Here you go. You can have a gift as well, because you seem like a, a, a very able councilman. Um, my Chaos Tart, you can also have a gift in exchange for you collecting taxes for me to be able to send you that gift with. Uh, Legatus Augusti, and obviously want our Augur doing something pretty important. Hey, you know what? I've said it a lot. Let's check the religions map mode, and I never do. Boom. Look at that. Hellenic is basically all over continental Europe here, by which I mean in... <laughs> <laughs> in most of Iberia, in most of Gaul, and in most of Italy there. Um, that's looking good. Italy is almost completely converted. Obviously, Greece will start taking over next. I have a feeling the Greeks might be a little more susceptible to Hellenism, uh, seeing as they fucking invented it. That There's not actually any gameplay precedent for that. I'm just assuming. Okay, um, what can we make then? The titular empire of Greece, the titular kingdom of Greece, the duchy of Judea. That seems something like we might want to get here. Um... There you go. You can have that as well, pal. Just because, uh, yeah, have this one as well. Got that title of the Duchy of Judea. I just wanted the prestige. I'm going to be honest with you. We've got so much gold. What the hell am I going to spend it on besides converting it directly to prestige? Condate has converted. Thank you. Was that somewhere in Italy? You know what? I actually think that was the place we literally just sent her, wasn't it? Um, you know what? In hindsight, I'm not sure. Doesn't matter too much. Right. With our legions, let's see what we can tidy up. So you, you, uh, Phylarch Niketius of Jordan. I actually kind of want this back, if you don't mind. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, conquest him. What else has he got besides that, though? Oh, all down here in in uh, Arabia. Not really too, too interested in that shit. So what do we want? We want uh, Lycandos. Probably should have just guessed that the one name with the... Uh, the, the one province with the exceptionally great name was the province that we'd want there. That would make sense. All right, let's take this out. Now, this is also his cap... Oh, no, this is not his capital. He's got holdings there, though. Oh, no, we've got holdings there. We have everything besides the top level holding. I see. Right. Now, that explains why I'm confused. Um, and that's it. I'm going for Sorry. What do you want? Glitter who wants me to black... <laughs> Glitter who wants me to back his plot to kill Praefectus Snurmuritum of Misty. You know what, Glitter Hoof? Your judgment is, is fine and just. As the officiatorium magisterium... I'm not sure that's actually the title name. I'm just making up Latin sounding words here. Of the Roman Empire, of course. I will allow that. When can I reunite the two empires? Um, we should probably take a look at that. Maybe I can already do it. Uh, restore the Roman Empire. What do I need? All baronies under the Imperial Romanum are controlled. Jesus Christ, that's going to take me about four years. Um, plus, we'd also have to find the damn things. Now, luckily, our ledger has a button for that. Um, realm. Now, what do we check? Do we not check? How do we find it? Uh, your ram levies, religions, characters, your dynasty, your direct vassals, all vassals in realm. Um... There is a button here to find independent states. And that will do it, but that's also not very ideal. I'll find it later on. It doesn't matter too much right now, because we're not really in a, the position where it's too relevant. Um, all we've got to take, rest in Northern Africa, tidy up Greece, get rid of Pontus. Pontus, Pontus who? Pontus Biggest Dickers. Is she the last of fake House Biggest Dickers? No, there are two more. Now, I did have them on my character finder, didn't I? Yeah, there we go. Countess Lucilia, biggest dickers, happens to be within my realm now. So, unfortunately, you are going to be uh, biggest screwed us when I find where my Frumentari is. Um, where is she again? She's in Ascalon, I think? Yeah, Ascalonia. So, let's send off our Frumentari there to go and deal with that. Uh, build a spy network over there, if you don't mind. It's going to take us up to 61%. No, it's not. That's going to be more than that. 73%. Nobody wants to join us, but over time they might. Sh uh, assuming she'll piss off somebody at some point, which will give us uh, some means to kill her. <sighs> Castus Vala no longer valid. Apparently lead changes for Lord Nic Niketius of Arabia. Okay, very funny, Lord Niketius of Arabia. Okay then, here's what I'm going to do, because you've been such a shit. Actually, I've changed my mind, and I'm going to take uh, your kingdom. Instead of taking out one province, I'm going to take three, because that just generally makes more sense. That looks like a very satanic sort of... Uh... I don't really like that too much. Is that supposed to be a goat head, or... Hmm, not a fan. Seems, it seems very uh, heretical to me either way. Not that we care too much, because, you know, we're Hellenic, but that's my excuse. That's my Cassus Belli. Your flag looks like it could be a little bit of a go-ahead. He might offend somebody. Toss him in the dungeons and leave him there. That's going to make me ambitious. Holy shit, I wasn't expecting that. I thought we'd get just out of it, but you know what? I'll take ambitious too. This strengthens the play. I agree it does. We're up to 47 learning now. 
How are our tech points not through the roof? Oh, they kind of are. They're not doing too bad, are they? It's just big, it, we're kind of skewed in the sense that we've got, you know, really high military organization construction illegalism, also known as the best tech. Perfect. Thank you very much. Right, let's move into Northern Africa then. Do, 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 do. Um, that was, that was Africa. Obviously, I, I have to be careful. I can't sing it like my, my regular um, angelic voice would uh, maybe suggest because otherwise the YouTube copyright system. What is this? Sorry. Otherwise, uh, the YouTube copyright system will pick up my channel and obviously I'll get flagged. I was a little too fixated with cleaning my teeth earlier today and brushed too intensely, resulting in some slight bleeding from my gums. As a result, my teeth are covered in blood. Unfortunately, I have to meet with my court soon, even though I look like a man-eating bloodthirsty monster. That's not how that works at all. That's, that's not even remotely how that works. Okay, um, what a strange event. Look, that's a really odd event. It does... I, I don't get it. Okay. Um, we're going to take, um, I suppose, just the rest of Egypt here rather than just taking one province again. Now, we want to prevent Pontus from getting too powerful just because it's going to cause us pain in the arse if he's got multiple different kingdom level titles, seeing as that is our major cast spell. Hey, do you want to get out? Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to have a lot of problems here because of my whole tyranny thing. Sure. You know what? Increase the power of the council. I can deal with that again later. Again, when we've restored the empire, when I've stopped dealing with all of this shit, then we'll deal with the council because I really can't be bothered to do both at once. Mainly because it's not important. You know what? Let them have their fun. And then uh, then we'll go ahead and get rid of all of our traitor assassins later on. I'm, may I'm maybe giving them a little too much leeway in hindsight. Independence. That Now that one is worrying. They ain't too big, too many held touches. You know what? We can deal with that pretty much instantly. So I'll, I'll do that. Alright, so I've tidied up the ram a little bit. We've got some of the factions starting to disband. I'm having to educate my own son again. Having two sons educated by Glitter, who especially are rare, is making our vassals hate us a lot. So it's not really worth it, especially as to do what we need to do. All we need is a son we can land with horse culture, or a character we can land with horse culture, so that they can convert a province. That's it. So we don't really need it to be our rare. So that was just basically losing his vassal school for no reason. We should be okay now. They should start disbanding a little bit. We're about to kill Lucilia Bigger Stickers, which is obviously incredible. Um, do you guys want some, some gold? How about some gold for you, my good friend? What's some gold? Mmm, everybody loves some gold. Here you go. Right, let's get these factions gone, because they're a little bit of a thorn in our side, especially when we're doing so much expansion. Right, how about now? Uh, we've done it. Nope. Uh, he's apparently going to incite a revolt against me. Oh. Right. Uh, she's trying to incite a plot against me. Right, I see. What a shit. Right. Uh, she was the lady, in fact, that we completely unlanded. We revoked all the titles. So, understandable that she'd want to cause some issues inside our court there. Very sneaky. Very sneaky. Uh, I can't believe these guys are actually still part of it. Have I got any... Yeah, I could give them some honorary titles here. Be my pro consul. What about you? Uh, you could be my Flamen Dal Dali 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 Alice at list. Nice. One more bigger stickers, and that's one of our major goals dealt with. The heretics will be gone. Um, her heir is a random Greek guy. So you know what? She can die. I, I really could not care less. As long as she doesn't have any legitimate sons. No. You know what? They are her legitimate sons. She just married... She married patrilineally to start off with rather than matrilineally. Or regularly, if you prefer that. Okay, time to die. 33% uh, plot power, although she's a king, so at some stage, or a despotess, I suppose. At some stage, she, she will piss someone off. Where's your capital, though? Um, it's here. Right, good. Heliopolis. Let's get our troops over there, building a spy network off Rimitari. Perfect. And um, we could always just swing for our next, to be honest with you. I don't think we have a Cassus... Oh, we... Okay, we're at Truce Breaker with her. I was going to say, I, I didn't think we actually had a Truce with that one, but there we go. I've learned. Alright, perfect. Thank you very much. Nice. Okay, so we've got, um... Almost, what are we missing now? We're just missing Northern Africa and just basically most of Greece there. We also do need to grab the UK. What have you pointed out, and I'm not even sure how this has happened, we've got a foothold in Northern Wales. Uh, you're right, and I don't know how. Apparently one of our vassals from Southern France moved in. Alright, why not? I mean, we can go in and help them out there. So they do have the Irish to deal with who are reformed now. They've organised and civilised to some extent, so we will need to move in and uh, try and tidy that up as well. Sorry? Oh, right, it's the, it, uh, Dublin was founded by Vikings, but obviously, obviously not at this point, um, but that's what that represents, that's why there's a, a symbol of uh, the, one of the Ravens of Odin there, weird. Right, I'm going to grab this, because you're in a revolt, you fool, so I'll just go ahead and uh, take that one if you don't mind. Thank you, I appreciate that. Now, we are also an enemy now of these guys, so we could go ahead and siege down their provinces just to weaken them, um, if we wanted to be a shit about it. 
is not a bad idea, is it? Is that actually no downside into just attacking them? Um, let's do it. Now, another way we'd be able to tidy up our vassal opinion is obviously get rid of some of these shitty traits, like slothful, like arbitrary, like drunkard. Um, might just be a case of flipping back to theology focus for a while, which might not be too much of a bad plan, because you can also get rid of possessed and lunatic. Um, would I willingly get rid of them, though? That's another question entirely. The second Roman reconquest of Egypt has ended with one. Thank you. Okay, uh, we're probably over our domain limit again, are we? Yep. All right. Um, what do we want to get rid of? Who do we want to make our vassal, uh, liege of August Amaninica? Well, well, let's usurp it for a start. Um, what is this one count? That's Alexandria. That one's Arcadia. This guy's independent and therefore... Oh. Well, never mind then. Okay, uh, let's just go for revoking titles to start off with and tidy Egypt up a little bit. Give it all away in one swoop, as per usual. Um, you are not my vassal. You're the vassal of my vassal. A little bit annoying there. Alright, we'll take that one if you don't mind. And, uh, I'll take that from you as well. Thank you. Right, and that should be good. Alright, Resident Mercy. Legendary, I don't think they're going to rebel against this, especially when we've got 15,000 legions stood there. Um, my scribes have provided me with the latest draft of my book. There's a chance of raising the quality of your work. I forgot we were writing another book. Ooh! After a lively evening in court where everyone drank, laughed, and feasted, Vita and I were left alone in the late hours after everyone retired to their quarters. We happily chatted for some time about the most diverse topics as the servants prayed we'd dismiss them. Finally, as fatigue was starting to show, I suggested we take our conversation to the bedroom. Mmm! -hmm. Okay, thanks. Um, 50% chance of her becoming pregnant. I've not seen that event before. Must be added by one of these, uh, by like Viet or something. I haven't seen it. Right, um, let's go for granting some land to Flaviana Cygnus, my good friend, and now, uh, Duke of, uh, the Nile Delta, I suppose. I think that's what this area is in the base game. And real life, obviously. Uh, what do we want to give away? We've apparently picked up some more shit. Oh, you know what? You can have that as well, because honestly, I, I just can't hold these titles without everyone hating me. Uh, care... You know what? No. People are going to scream at me, okay, if I don't give away titles in the most effective way possible. So here we go. We'll set up a new vassal for that, so he can be a Jute later on. And we'll set up a new vassal for, uh, Nor Norticorticus. No, he's already our vassal, isn't he? How have we inherited more land again? What the fuck have we picked up this time? Uh, Gal Galata? No, we've always had that. That's obviously Constantinople. Um, what the fuck have we picked up? I have no idea. Okay, let's just give away Pisa. I don't want Pisa. What do we want Pisa for? Um, we could give away Florence. Now, a lot of you have been saying, hey, uh, keep provinces rather than, again, this is this has come up, keep provinces rather than um, holdings. Again, I've got to disagree. The amount of bonuses, the amount of ridiculous tax we are getting from just having this and having our boys oversee tax collection is way too much and way too valuable to just be giving it away. I would agree to some extent if we were holding, say, cities in places like this, but we're not. We're just holding the top-level holdings. Um, maybe Constantinople might be worth giving away, then. Not giving us that much gold. Um, and I would prefer to hold the top-level holdings. You're right. So, compared to that, we'll give it away for now. Um, we could have built an aqueduct there, though. What have the Romans ever done for us? Apparently nothing now. Let's build a keep in Constantinople. Try and get some more troops out there. You know what? It's rare that I invest back into the realm. Here you go, Rome. Have some uh, have some upgrades. Let's go and uh, try and make this place un a much nicer place. University in Rome City 1. Excellent, of course. Castle study. I'll take that one. Why not? We'll go for all the tech points because of our ridiculous learning stat. This will buff up the empire rapidly. Thank you. Right. Um, what have I got to do now then? Let's take a look. Uh, naturally, anywhere we can take that's independent, we will. So we'll go ahead and move on. Sorry. Oh, we'll just conquest it then in that case. It's only a single province. Crocodopolis. Um, named because, of course... Cro crocodiles. I don't really know what you expected. Uh, my ward. Do you want to be ambitious or do you want to be just? Maybe both. Maybe he'll just get ambitious. That's probably better in this scenario. Seeing as just seems a lot easier to get these days with the rulership focus. Right. Thank you very much. Crocodopolis is now ours from Martha the Fat. Wow. Very rude. Don't think she probably appreciates that at all. Uh, my friend... You get Crocodopolis, or as we're calling it now, Heracleopolis Magna. Perfect. Um, we can't go to war with you because we're still at truce, aren't we? Let's just double check. Yep, we are. Um, we've got a uh, revolt there, which we could go and dive in on. Why not? Garamantes, do you have some of my land there? That doesn't seem right. Yeah, he does. Hey, can you fuck off? Council vote no? Council vote no. We're already busy fighting another war. Okay. Sorry, I forgot that these 600 men were worth dealing with before we do literally anything else. Why bother planning ahead for the future when you have 600 men to deal with? Oh, careful. In council. Why? This is why I abolished them. 
So do you guys remember when I said I stole the Ark of the Covenant and sent it to China to get them to dismantle this empire? Turns out I never did steal the Ark of the Covenant, did I? I just managed to gain enough favor with them by, you know, regular stuff, sending them my daughters and things like that. So, take two, we're going to go steal the Ark of the Covenant, send it to China so they can dismantle the Sassanids, who are massive. Um, one of you also said Assassinid the Sassanids, which was which were very good. That, that I gave a, a hearty chuckle at that one. We're going to take Legatus Augustus Lucinus, the second my spy master, but and by hearty chuckle I meant... I completely ignored it. <laughs> I think I probably gave it a YouTube like and then moved on. Uh, but we could always kill them off, I suppose. They seem to have a lot of Chinese influence here. Not that there's anything wrong with that. A lot, a lot of Confucian rulers kicking around. Why? Though? No? Religious authority is at 73%. Very odd. Um, I mean, if we kill them off, his son's just going to inherit. They're not like Gavilkan or anything, are they? Primogeniture, two duchies, which are both primogeniture. Yeah, killing them off isn't really going to do much. Um, might give them a succession crisis, I suppose. But, oh, no, wait, that's CK2+. Plus. Won't give them a succession crisis, I suppose. Right, what can we do then? Convince the servants to let me in. 77% chance of success. You watch this. Today, we steal the Ark of the Covenant. Tomorrow, the Crystal Skull, I think. I don't remember what order they went in. Sorry. Um, rush them before they raise an alarm or pose the servant to give them poison drinks. You have poisoned your wine. Um, oh, God, our chance of success is really low here, isn't it? Search frantically, 51%. Shit, okay, well, I guess we'll search frantically. Shit, we failed. You've taken too long and some guards have found you. Hey, it's me again. Julius Augustus, biggest dick, is here to steal the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> Ark of the Covenant stealing. Gone sexual. Do I an audience with their liege? Um, or we could surrender and hope for the best and get imprisoned. Mm, fight your way out. 21% mm, chance we get executed. Mm, I don't like this at all. I really don't like this. Surrender and hope for the best? I mean, I imagine he'll say, hey, do you want to ransom yourself? And I'll say, yes. He's going to say no, but he doesn't like me, so we can't say yes because we've already tried to steal from him twice before. How about we send Glitterhoof fucking hell to go and improve diplomacy? I guess that's not going to happen. Glitterhoof is immortal, so we could actually just swap him out now that he, we, he's going to be here forever. He's educating my kids. He's loyal to us because he is our noble steed. I feel like we'll probably be fine swapping him out now from Magistore Officiorium. We'll send you a gift as well. Increase his opinion on us by eight. By eight. Wow. Sorry, sorry for wasting your time there by sending you a free gift. Despite the fact you should be the one in servitude to me. Okay, we're going to improve Diplo relations in some vain attempt to try and ransom ourselves out here. We need 385 gold and his base reluctance is negative three right now. Oh, Christ. He might offer us the chance to be, um, you know, if he's in wars and stuff. We could always just go to war with him as well. Tempting. <laughs> That's it's kind of tempting. I suppose we'll just wait and see. Eventually, he'll say, okay, here you go. He might mutilate us first, though, which is always a worry. Um, that is a worry. Shit, because that's one of the only ways we could die would be, you know, execution or something along those lines. Yeah, we'll wait and see. I'm sure we'll be fine. Right, what is this? Oh, that's ours. Um, let's give that to... Why have you got... Sure. Whatever. Uh, have your ca technically capital province back. Um, this is looking good. This is good. This is this is looking pretty decent. Now we're just gonna get rid of Pontus, and we're good to go. Well, to celebrate and to make myself feel better about being imprisoned. Perfect. Problem solved. Wait, why was this tiny girl not executed? Sorry, kill her as well. Oh, they don't want her executed because of some reason. There is no glory in this. The character is a defenseless child. Okay, fair enough. I, as opposed to a defenseless man or woman in prison? Why not, eh? Okay, let's get our troops out of there because they are getting ripped up by this desert attrition. Now, what we want to do is, um, funnily enough, go to war with this dude, but we're in prison. So now we've basically just got to wait until uh, our good friend, who apparently hates me, uh, mainly because I keep trying to steal one of the most important religious artifacts of all time, till he basically offers to ransom us out, which could take a very, very long time. Excellent. Just what I was waiting for. And I'm going to be trapped in a kingdom where we can't do anything about it. Incredible. I mean, it's not going to affect us because I think we've already survived the plague once. Not only that, but we are immortal. So, I mean, we can just sit there and watch everyone die and hopefully we won't be forgotten about in some abandoned castle in the middle of nowhere. Lessons taught to me by my enemy, by Imperator Julius, has been added to your treasury. I've not seen this book before. Oh, I probably haven't. Probably just never took note of it. Um, where is it? Uh, lessons taught to me by my enemy, by Imperator Julius Augustus. Well, that's not too bad. Um, this type describes the famed rivalry between Imperator Julius Augustus and Kyriake. Um, I don't know who that is. Great. Oh, his wife? Uh, my, 
my, my wife? Who was Kiri? Who the fuck was... I don't know. Anyway, look. More to the point, we have uh, March plus one, Intrigue plus one, Personal Combat plus one. Not the best book. Like, far from the best book. But, you know, all this time spent in prison probably gave him plenty of time to work on it as well. All the great rulers write books in prison. <laughs> Prince Sempronius of the Western Roman Empire. Horse. In brackets, horse. The culture of the character determines whether their subjects or other characters consider them foreigners. No special features. Our son is a horse. We've actually done it. So all I've got to do now is grant him some land in the hopes that he'll convert it to his culture. Ideally, uh, the further away the less influence he's got from the main empire, the better. When it becomes horse, we move our capital over there and then we become horse. I'm not sure it's worth it for the meme or the downsides we're going to get. For example, everybody hating us because we're a different culture. Losing our legions. Potentially even losing the ability to restore the Roman Empire. Because I don't really think a horse is known for doing that very much. Uh, we'll talk about it. Talk about it in the comments. Talk, talk about it yourselves. Also, let me know. Uh, and I'll, I'll do, you know, whatever the community thinks is right. Because honestly, I'm not really inclined one way or the other to actually finish it here. What I am inclined to do is get out of this fucking prison that I've been in for the past 20 years. We are at a 182-year-old man. We've literally lived through the plague. It's gone. The plague is gone. And we're still in this damn prison. How is this dude alive? Have we not just outlived him? He's only 40? What do you mean I've only been in here five years? Our transfer prisoner? Yes. He wasn't saying that 30 seconds ago. We've gone down from minus 92 to minus 73. Oh. <gasps> Of course I accept such a generous ransom. We've been released. Thank the gods. We're out. Is that a little scepter we've got there? Oh, it is. That's nice. Holy shit. Um, right. Man, freedom. I don't know what to do now. I've got all my freedom back. First things first. I've been, I've, I have been upgrading Rome whilst we've been in the slammer. Um, so why don't we carry on with that? Because I feel like it's probably not a bad idea. Castro level 3 seems like a good idea. Um, what have we got? Uh, levy size plus 10%. Again, great idea. In this place, we'll go for... Gastro 3, also very, very good. Uh, I'm going to go for Militia Training Ground. This one I'm going to go for Militia Training Ground. And this one I'm probably going to go for Militia Training Ground. And then the final one, I'm going to go for... Forum. Bamboozled. <laughs> okay, what have we got in the hospital? Because that's also pretty important for the tech-related uh, bonuses that we get from that. Technology rate plus 25%. And again, with our ridiculously high learning, this is probably the building we want to be upgrading the most to get any sort of tech points. Um, economy tech points... We've got uh, cultural tech points. Let's go for the cultural tech points because right now they're a little more valuable to us to get those um, obligations increased to increase opinion with all of our vassals so that we can do more crazy shit like become a horse. That will be expedited as long as our vassals like us. Vassal love is raised to it? Not really. I don't... Oh, I've accidentally raised her boats. Sorry. My mistake. Back to the original plan. Let's take our lands from the Pharaoh. Uh, Pharaoh Tariq of Garamentus. This shouldn't be too difficult a war. Oh shit, our, our levies there. Our, our legions have reinforced up to 50,000 men. Wow. Uh, not quite 50,000 men, but close enough. Lucinius, despot of... Uh, oh, well, this dude's really good. Have we really got not got a better commander? 30, 22, 19 seems a bit of a sharp uh, decrease there, but that's fine. Obligate the vassal, sure. The factions are pretty much dealt with. We've literally got one dude. Um, mainly because of the tyranny modifier is gone. We revoked some, uh, Hellenic titles, which that modifier has now expired. So everybody likes us again. I mean, it's 612. I think when we started this video, it was like, it was like 413 or something. So, like, we've been in that prison for nearly 200 years now. My wife, Fee-Tay-Tay, uh, will buy her a falcon because she deserves a falcon. Because why not? Um, I mean, we can definitely afford it. I think it would just be spiteful to not buy it for her at this stage. Anyway, you guys can go. Thank you for thank you for being here. Now, we are going to have to go and attack his capital and kill any troops he's got kicking around. So, these guys will do quite nicely. Thank you for your service. Young Isabella has finished her education in my prison. I'm sorry, Young Isabella. I didn't realize you've been in there for so long. So, we've got our horse son. Again, we need to decide what we want to do for that. Oh, our wife died. Selfish. Okay, uh, who are we going to marry now then? Uh, is there anyone who's immortal? Glitterhoof. Are you lady? Uh, arranged marriage. Glitter... No. Oh, uh, no, Glitterhoof is a man because we can offer Glitterhoof concubines. It's a little bit of a shame. Let's give her, him, uh, pre preferably a nice young nubile concubine. Uh, she'll do. There you go. You can have her as your concubine. There's something very troubling about that, isn't there? That's, that's a little bit strange. All right, who are we going to marry? I think I know exactly who we're going to marry. Hey, China, can I... Oh. Uh, what do you need for, for wife? Thousand Grace. Sure, we can do that. Uh, Eunuch, let's send him one that's worth 400. Well, that's basically got us there already. Uh, call for my court position. Sitting in death. 
await us all. Yeah, I mean, that's true, except for, for obviously, Imperator Augustus. History of temples. Do we want a history of temples, or shall I ship it off? No, we do want to keep the books, because they don't take up any slots in this. Send him Fury. Fury is actually not as good as our Zuge crossbow for... Unless we're going to be leading troops, which we're not going to be for a while. Sure, let's send him Fury. Uh, here you go, pal. That's going to get 250 grace. And in return, he's going to send us a lovely wife. A wife for a sword. Pure marriage. That also comes with a Chinese honor guard as well. Which is kind of nice. But it will also give us a uh, peace treaty with China. Our next child might be um, born of the Roman Empire and the Chinese Emperor. Which is, which is pretty cool. Thank you very much. Where is she, though? Wait, where's my wife? takes a while to get here. I speak. There she is. Exactly as I imagined. Um, yeah. She's, she's fairly fairly boring. Uh, Buddhist. Quick. Sympathy for pagans. Deceitful. Temperate. Uh, game master. Poet. Sure. Why not? Becoming your husband is a great honor. Tuaba Shulu Ping. Uh, she's actually not Chinese. She's Kitan. Altaic. So I guess they were conquered by a step horde then. Sorry. That was very racist of me to assume that they were they were Chinese. Despite the fact that it literally says they interact with the Northern Way, China. Becoming your husband is great honor gain 500 prestige. Excellent. We've secured a peace deal. We've also got ourselves a Chinese honor guard. Which I think is really, really funny that we can just raise those guys to stand alongside the Praetorian Guard. That just seems, you know, cultural appropriation, I think is the word. I've stolen his crown. Thank you. Did we have a crown? I'm sure we had a crown. Uh, and the crown is better than the crown of Lily. So, hey, an upgrade. Wife, I will grant you this kind gift, the crown of lilies. Because... You may wear it. She's already wearing one. Apparently, she came with her own crown. Free crown DLC. I'll take it. Right, how are we doing? 30%. I mean, let's just take out his capital. We should be good, right? No, we're not going to be anywhere near good. God damn it. I don't like fighting in the desert. It kills off too many of my men. Not my concern. Um, Has he got any troops left? Uh, let's take a look here. What, he's leading troops. Oh, he's got 12,000 men. Perfect. Just what I was after. Thank you. Uh, no, don't split the armies. Ever. Don't ever do that. Right. Come back together. Uh... I suppose we haven't lost Slothful or Drunkard yet, so we might as well just take the free learning. We're up to 49. That's so ridiculous. Got a legitimate base game character up to 49 learning. I mean, he is a morsel, so that's kind of expected. Were those crappy bits of land worth that war? Um, no, they weren't. Um, they're also... What kingdom is that part of? Sorry. Oh, God. Now they've put me over my vassal limit. Oh, no, they haven't. Who are you under, then? No, they are. I guess we were just... Safely under our vassal limit? I can't say I noticed. Um, we did grain that one, which we definitely don't want. Livia, um, we need to usurp it, but she is obviously at war, and she's probably always going to be at war. Holy shit, we can go to war with her again. Hey, nice. Let's take her capital. What an amazing dream I had last night. After waking up, I rushed over to town with my servants. I begin to excitedly tell her about my dream. You see, last night, I dreamt that I was, um, well, the dream mainly revolved around, uh, crap, I forgot what it was about. Lose one prestige. Incredible. Another incredible event there. Thank you for watching. We'll leave this episode here because I think it's been going on about half an hour at this stage. Roughly. Um, this is doing well. Look at this. We've only got basically um, Egypt to take and uh, some parts of the Byzantine Empire. We've got Pontus to tidy up. Then, my friends, we've done it. Rome is restored except for the UK and some parts of Germania as well. But that's not a big deal. Shout out to all of my ridiculous tier patrons, Big Dick, Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Halting, Haydog, Croesus, Gabriel Van Ders, Jocelyn, Dean, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Conspired C, James Ogilvy, Escape, and Jackson Woodman for their ridiculous levels of support. And shout out to the more sensible Patreon backers, Nathaniel Limbra, Brandon Ratoniak, Necrophilum, Felix Deal, ne uh, Princess Ugly the Dragon, help me, Nick, Noblesse, Quit, Lush, Shalee, Zara, even Facundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Imperator Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor, Sheep, Palpatine, I'm the Lizard King, Llewellyn Thomas, Euron DeFries, UFTs, Dunk Honey, 2 and 7, Jordan Camel, Asra, and Sidini. Thank you all for your Roman Empire bigger stickers.